Okay, so we are here again in 412 Windows Server 2012. Um, and we are on activity 4-5, auditing folder access. So in here it says log on to 412 Server 1. as administrator if necessary. And then open the file explorer and then right click on the C drive slash doc share one, which is where I am. C drive doc share one. And then click properties. Okay, let me go back actually. Go to your file share, C drive, and right click document, share, and go to properties, and click the security tab, and click advanced. And from there, in the advanced security settings for the doc one sharing dialog box, click the auditing tab. Currently, there are no auditing entries. The list of Auditing entries is the SACL. Click Add. And then in the auditing entry for Doc Share One, click Select a Principal. And then type everyone in the Enter the Object Name to Select. and then check names. Okay. In the type drop-down list, click all. Um, type right here, all. Leave the default value in the applies to drop-down box. And in the basic permissions section, click clear, click to clear all the check boxes except read so that only read accesses are logged. So only just read. Whoops, don't click back in there, it will redo it. Okay, click add a condition. And the first drop down on the left, click resource. And because you have only one resource property defined, confidentiality is selected automatically in the fifth drop down list from the left. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. I don't know what you're talking about. Here's confidentiality. Oh, in the fifth drop down list from the left, click hi. How about I just repeat my whole sentence? So this policy audit will only have files with confidential properties set to high. Click OK. The advanced security settings for DocShare 1 dialog box should now look like figure 4 13. Click OK twice. Damn it. OK, let's go back to server 1. We were in advanced security settings for document share. And now it should look like figure 4-13. Click OK twice. Now you need to enable auditing with the group policy in server manager. Click tools and group policy management. And from the menu, right click the Domain Controllers OU and click Create a GPO in this domain. And link it here. In the name text box, type Enable Auditing. Enable A U D I T I N G. And then click OK. And 
right click the enable while editing the GPO and click edit. In the left pane, expand computer configuration policies, Windows settings. All right. Policy, Windows settings. Security settings. And local policies. And click audit policy. Double click audit object access. And click the define these policy settings. Click the success and failure checkboxes and then click OK. Close the group policy management editor and group policy management console. All right, and all right. Then open a command prompt window and type in GP update and press enter. And we're going to go slash force because this takes forever to do a GP update in the virtual instances. And I don't want to be on pause forever because I would like to turn my assignment in. Anyways, once that's updated, close the command prompt window in File Explorer, open um, the doc share one folder and double click my doc. Close the MyDoc file and right click Start. And click Event Viewer. Expand Windows Logs. And click the Security Log. Look for an event with Event ID 4663. New events are available. Okay, well. All right, 46. Four six six three. Huh. All of these. Oops. There we go. Which is an object access event. Several events were created for the simple file access, which is why you need to be careful with how many files you audit. Close the event viewer and file explorer. Open up the group policy management console and click to expand the domain controllers OU. And then right click enable auditing GPO. And then click delete to disable auditing. Click OK to confirm. And then stay logged in if you're continuing to the next activity, which I am, but you guys will not. So um, we will, that's it for the end of this recording. Join me in the next one.